Hello viewers, in this video, I will try to give you an insight about a book written by James Moneco and it is based on film study and the title of the book is How to Read a Film, film Movies, Media and Beyond. It was published in 1977. Through this book, you will not get any kind of movie's name where actors were terrific, the, the plot of the film was amazing, that kind of thing you will not get. Okay, here. The writer has tried to depict how a film is made and how we should try to analyze a particular movie. The movie is especially analyzed uh, with or uh, on various factors. And they are all factors from a technical to uh, non-technical. They are all things the writer has tried to uh, mention through this book. Now let's try to know a little about James Monaco. James Monaco, he is an author and publisher. And he had expertise in electronic publishing film and the media and industries. And he is currently head of Harbor Electronic Publishing, which he founded in 1994, and a member of the board of directors of the Copyright Clearance Center. And uh, he is also the author of a number of books on the film industry and the media, including the Dictionary of New Media 2000, the Connoisseur's Guide to the Movies, Facts on File, American Film Now, and many more. Here I will not mention all the things. So in this book, How to Read a Film, Monaco has given an in-depth explanation of how to properly analyze a film production. There are many different elements of film that can play a large factor in the overall language or ambience of it. Therefore, some of these elements uh, also include meaning, basic elements, uh, mis mise en scene, cinematography, montage, and sound. So these are all things the writer has tried to discuss or critique. Monaco has also uh, manifested or he has also tried to advocate it about a deeper explanation to its element and their importance to the film. Okay, and all these elements have uh, elements within them, okay, which are all combined help to create the overall ambience of a film production. Meaning or message behind the film, uh, it gives the audience an interpretation by the director or producer. The meaning behind the film, it also includes elements such as themes, metaphors, and subtext. Okay, each of these elements are developed and explained throughout the film to enable an audience understanding the meaning behind a film and producer's purpose. Okay. And we all know the basic elements of a film. It includes title. Without a title, there will be no film. Okay. Without a title, you cannot say that, oh, uh, I had watched that movie. Okay. If that someone asks you that, what was that movie, then you will not be able to reply them. That's why there has to be a title and there has to be a plot. Without plot or without story, there will be no movie, right? Okay. Let's say you are watching a video and it has no proper meaning. That means it lacks plot. Without the plot, a movie cannot be fulfilled. And in that way, public or the movie lover, cinephile or one who loves to watch move, movies that they will never watch it because of the lack of plot. That all thing the writer has tried to uh, critique here and characterization and point of view of the film all help the flow smoothly. So without proper title, without proper plot, without proper characterization and point of view of the film, uh, the film will utterly fail. That thing the writer has tried to say here. And these elements are all tied together. They are all woven together to create the overall ambience of the film. Okay. And these all are combined together and each of these elements provides the structure of the film to ensure that the film is properly and accurately understood. Okay. And mission scene, it is a French term which is generally defined as everything going on within the frame outside of editing and sound. Okay. We all know without a proper editing and uh, nowadays graphic effect, that movie is often underrated. Pe people tend to avoid those kinds of movies, right? So that thing the writer is trying to say that mission scene contains many different elements as well, including setting, costume, lightning, lighting, and acting. Okay. Each of these elements combined allow for a structured performance and enables an audience to properly understand the film's meaning. Each element is put together purposefully to extract a certain feeling or emotion about the film from the audience. Therefore, cinematography, it also plays a pivotal role in the film making process. And uh, while we study about the film, we must know about this thing also. Cinematography, it is the camera work that overall records the mission scene between each shot. Okay, let's say your, your camera is not so good. It does not uh, capture what it should capture. Then... If you if you are making film with that camera, will 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 that have will that help? Despite having strong titles, strong plot, strong acting skill, that will be futile. Okay, and each scene includes many different shots, which are all eventually edited together. That we all know. Okay, uh, fifty or sixty uh, scenes will be taken uh, in the form of video. Then all will will be edited and added together one by one according to um, circumstance. So that thing. So cinematography includes many different elements to best portray the meaning behind the film, including tone, camera angle, focus frame, and many others. Each of these elements are combined to capture the mission scene of the film. 
Another thing is montage. Montage it re refers to the cuts and editing of scenes between shots. Each scene is made up of different shots or cinematography which are then put together. We all know this. When we make a vlog or when we make a simple video, at that time too, we often we cut and we often trim the video. The, the same thing in the movie in industry too, this kind of thing are done. So that thing the uh, writer saying so, but I'm just trying to say it practically and in our uh, pragmatic way, means we, we just live by all uh, our life. But in te technical movie industry, the process will be a little bit lengthy and difficult. And in order to produce the most structured and smooth film, it's important that each of these cuts seem invi invisible. Okay, so let's say you have taken a shot uh, in London and it was uh, some years ago, but your film has not been finished and now you are again on your quest to resume that movie. So if you are doing the same scene in London for some reasons, then that scene should not mismatch and it should be downrightly invisible. Okay, when you will edit and when you will cut the scene, then it doesn't show, I means it should not show that, uh, okay, this is this was taken some years ago and now it is taken by them. So if the audience, if they are uh, aware of it, then they will lose the, uh, what do you call it that, uh, dynamic of that movie. Okay, that's why the writer is saying that each cut seems invisible. In other words, if an audience doesn't notice the changes of an angular scene, the montage is done well and correctly. Okay, montage uses elements like shots, freeze frames, sequences, and many more in order to get that sense of invisibility. So you might have seen in the action movies, like uh, there are many more action movies, like uh, what you call it. I'm not able to re recall right now. Like okay, let's say the Dunkirk. Okay. Dunkirk is a movie, of, uh, or let's say this what you call it, the Batman or the Spider-Man, okay. There too, you can see some scenes are taken some years ago, but when you watch the movie, it doesn't feel so, right? So if that does not feel so, that means one who has done the movie or one who has done the post-production, then they have uh, done their job well. So that's the thing the writer is trying to say. Okay, whatever I, I know, I, I'm just trying to say, okay, that, that's it, okay. But if you want to know more, then you have to study filmography. Then only these things will be more clear. And another thing is sound. Uh, sound is an important tool uh, for a mo movie. And sound is one of the elements most noticed by viewers. If they are, okay, let's say you you have made a movie uh, called, uh, what do you call it, Forest Gump, but there is no sound. Then what will happen? Then your film is useless. Okay. There has no significance. So to attract the viewers, you must put sound, you must include sound, and it is one of the basic elements in a movie. And many people generally, they don't realize how each other element affect them. But most are aware of how music can influence their emotions during a film. So if there is no background music in the movie while shooting a dancing scene or while uh, chasing a uh, thief by the police, then you will lose, lose interest. So that thing, that's why uh, to, to, uh, to evoke emotion of the viewer or the audience, we must use music. Right? In the movie, let's say, what do you call it, Dhum, if you are from India, right? Then in the movie Dhum, you might have seen that Dhum Majale song uh, is used to intensify the scene and to evoke some sense of uh, excitement to the viewers. So that thing. And sound enables an audience to really understand the purpose of the film, as it includes the most used elements such as dialogue, sound effects, score, background, music, and many others. The sound aspect of the film is what really ties together each of the elements to create a final production. And looking at film from many uh, vantage points, how to read the film, movies, media, multimedia, it explores the medium as both art and craft sensibility and science, tradition and technology. And after examining Flip's close relation to such other narrative media as the novel, painting, photography, television, and even music, Monaco has discussed those elements are prerequisite or those are necessary or essential to, uh, to comprehend or to understand how film, films conveys meaning and more importantly, how we can best discern all that a film is attempting to communicate. Okay, and in a key departure from the book's previous editions, the new and still evolving digital context of the film is now emphasized throughout how to read, sorry, how to read a film. A new chapter on multimedia brings media criticism into the 21st century with a thorough discussion of topics like virtual reality, cyberspace, and proximity of both of film. So nowadays, these kind of new new things are coming out like virtual rea reality. You will be watching a movie and that, as if that movie will uh, is going on uh, before your eyes and you are experiencing it. That is so stimulating that you are experiencing that thing. As if you are witnessing that thing. Okay, so that, that is called, you all know what I'm saying, uh, virtual rea reality. And how it will affect the movie in, uh, industry or how it is effect, sorry, affecting the movie movies that has been made nowadays. So that thing. And Monaco has likewise doubled the size and scope of his film and media uh, 
in a chronology appendix and the book also features a new introduction and expanded bibliography and hundreds of illustrated black and white film stills and diagrams it is must of all films to students media buffs and movie fans so number four point is what monaco calls the shape of uh, film history he spills the movie subject into three aspects number one is economics that is movies politics film cinema aesthetics and attempts to interconnect the subject of film into a number of historically developing and overlapping concepts such as genre realism expressionism and audio theory Neorealism, entertainment, communication, postmodernism, the end of cinema, metafiction, and materiality. Num- number five point is an examination of film theory and the role of critics, which among other includes uh, things in- introduces the major film theories and theories, uh, theories and theories. Lindsay, Munsterberg, Arnhem, Krauchor, Brookvin, Einstein, Balsas, B- Bazin, Godard, and Mesa. So I'm not, I have not pronounced uh, the word part correctly, and I'm sorry for that. So these are all the things the writers know, and here many more things are given. So you can take a screenshot of it. Okay. Look here, the many thing is, many more things are given. You can take a screenshot or you can pause the video or you, you can read. That's it.